Good afternoon, I'm Susan McCord. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. Today's topic is, do you jump from one relationship to the next? Why do people do this? It's so common, you hear about this situation all the time. Well, the number one reason for this is it's a rebound. A lot of people, after they have a breakup, they're really distraught. They can't understand how they're going to be able to be alone and they're missing so much of being in a connected partnership. So they don't take the time to figure out what went wrong in their relationship and they go into another one fairly quickly because it lessens the pain, it lessens the heartbreak. Or so everybody thinks. Unfortunately, what happens is you're taking a lot of emotional baggage with you to the next person you date or you end up in a relationship with. The situation that happens here though is that you're shortchanging yourself because you're not f getting fulfillment out of it. You're just going into a relationship because it's available, it's there. You might like the person, but you're not necessarily in love with them. But it just makes everything so less heartbreaking. But think about the other person that's involved here. If you're doing this on a repetitive cycle, everybody that crosses your path is getting hurt. And think about the fact that when you came from a breakup, how hurt you were. Sometimes people don't even realize that they're commitment phobic. And so they just go from one relation to the to ship to the next. They might not necessarily have had any heartbreak in their life. They just don't really know what it is to be in a committed relationship with someone. So they get bored. They go in, it's new, it's exciting, it's fun. Wow, let's go for it. And so it becomes an addiction. It becomes a way of life. But it's not a good way of life for the most part. If you just wanna have flings with people, that's one thing. But if you're investing time, a few months here and there with people, they're investing their time with you too. And so they're walking away feeling like, what the hell happened? Where did they go? Did I mean nothing to them? And so at the very least, think about that part. If you are sort of a repetitive serial dater or a serial, you know, short-term relationship person, because it's not really a good place to put yourself or other people. If you are using this method as a rebound to help you get over a past relationship you're not learning the lesson that you're supposed to learn from why that relationship broke up because you're not taking the time to sit back and think about it you're jumping right back into something else and so each time you do this it gets more and more and more embedded in you and you're not dealing with it and so you're not getting fulfillment from any partnership you end up in because you're not understanding what it is you're looking for you haven't taken the time to figure out what that is. So I really suggest that each time you have a breakup with somebody, you take like six months or so before you get back out there. If it was a really long-term relationship, I suggest even longer. Figure out who you are. Maybe you've changed. Maybe you've evolved into a different person and you want different things now. This is why we date. This is why we have relationships, to find our special person. But if you don't take the time to figure out what that is, then you're going to have a lot of repetitious, failed scenarios and leave not only yourself in the dust, but other people as you move along. Because going from one relationship to the next shows that you're not really emotionally available to receive a new partnership in your life because as soon as it gets dull or you start freaking out maybe they're going to say goodbye to you you end it and that's another reason a lot of people do go from one relationship to the next they're in charge of when it starts and when it ends and they move on and they don't get hurt but again you're shortchanging yourself and you're shortchanging the person that you're with being in a new relationship can be very addictive because it's fun, it's exciting. There's all sorts of new, new things that you're experiencing with each other. And that can be a fun thing to happen. But the problem is if you're not investing enough time with somebody, 
you don't really get to know them. You're just taking the surface part of everybody that you meet and you're just saying to yourself, okay, well, I've, I've kind of had enough time here. I'm going to move on to another situation. I want something more. But most of the time you don't know what it is that you're looking for because you don't spend enough time trying to figure that out. And that's what I'm trying to relay here in this video is it can be fun going and meeting new people and going from one relationship to the next. But if you keep doing that and it happens for years and years and years, again, you're shortchanging your own future happiness because you're just taking a piece of each scenario and not developing it into a really well-established partnership. Some people say that's all they want. Well, that's fine. Maybe you should have more of a intimate friends with benefits scenario in that case. And there's not people getting hurt along the way. Over time living this way, it's not very satisfying. You're not challenging yourself enough. You're not challenging what you're learning in your life. You're just accepting the same thing over and over and over again and, and repeating it. You want to challenge yourself in every part of your life. You want to keep growing, keep evolving. Repeating patterns that don't work for you is not evolving. It's keeping you stuck. And at the end of the day, when you start really analyzing it, are you happy? For the most part, you're just waiting for the next conquest to come along and then you go and you pursue that, then you move on again. I have talked to some men and women who like to be independent. They like to be, have the freedom of dating and doing this sort of situation. But really they don't understand that they're actually dependent on being with somebody because they have a harder time being alone and would rather be in a relationship that's part time or they really like them, maybe not in love with them because it's safer. But that's a form of dependency. When you're comfortable with who you are as you stand alone, that is when you're your whole person. And that is also when you're ready to meet somebody and be in a reciprocated partnership with. When you're there just for a good time, not a long time, even that takes on a monotonous tone after a while because it's too repetitive. It's just something that is not changing. It's the same thing with each person that you're allowing in. You're also saying to yourself, yeah, but I don't get hurt this way. I'm protecting my heart but you're also not getting what your heart really wants either so please think about all these things and just start to understand that you know what a little heartbreak is not great but it teaches you so much more about what it is you're looking for and that's okay we all go through it I don't think there's anybody probably in life that hasn't had a little bit of pain from a breakup Take some time away from it. Understand what part you played in it. Understand what it is you're looking for moving forward. Thank you so much everyone for tuning in today. Please subscribe to my channel and please leave any comments you have under the video. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much.